So here Game On brings you Top 5 Game Engines for Android and iOS Game Making My name is Joey and I am your host for this video brought by Vig Studios Affordable audio providers in market Now let's see the first game engine in our list First comes the Unity Game Engine Unity 3D is a truly affordable option for a game developer and it has some unmatched merits that other engines don't. Most important, you have to pay for the license once and no matter how popular your game becomes, you do not need to pay again. That surely sounds like a smart financial move particularly for startups and new developers. Pros, free up to $100,000, the most polished engine out there, massive community and support network. Cons, gets expensive with extra features and add-ons. No source code access unless you pay. Example games, Nova, Chronoblade, Monument Valley. Second, Unreal Engine. Unreal Engine 4 is one of the big hitters in the list offering an extremely sophisticated set of tools, complete access to its C++ source code and full 3D support. Its pricing plan costs nothing until your game reaches $3000 per quarter. At which point 5% of royalties go to Unreal. Its community is also extremely active and it has a large knowledge base available online with tutorial videos and extensive documentation. Pros, complete source C++ access, visual scripting, good UI. Cons, few extensions, hard to make your own workflows or effects, not great for collaboration. Example games, Shadowgun, Dead Zone, Epic Citadel, Wild Blood. Third engine, Marmalade. Marmalade markets itself as the quickest cross-platform development engine. And its low-level language does indeed make its apps run very fast, further to that. One of its major upsides is right once, run anywhere, all of its five pricing plans, the cheapest being free, give you access to the SDK, and the lowest tier starts at $15 per month. The engine offers great physics support and can produce 3D games, but it does feature a lot of coding instead of visual scripting, so is perhaps best avoided by beginners. Pros, no Mac required to compile iOS code, very good performance, low level language. Cons, low level language, can require extension making, slower to make apps. Example games, Plants vs Zombies Bejeweled Blitz. Fourth, Game Maker Studio. Game Maker Studio has been featured a number of times in the Humble Bundle. Released in 1999, it was used to create notable hits like Hotline Miami and Spelunky. Using the GML language, it creates games by using a library of preset events, which then trigger in game actions, making for an intuitive game building experience. Also note that it only supports Android 2.3 onwards, and given the level of complexity if can offer, is best suited for junior developers as opposed to total beginners. Pros, simple to use, wide support base. Cons, some 3D support, clunky language. Example games, Tiamat X, Savant Ascent, Default Dan. Fifth, Moai. Moai's main advantage is there are no frills attached. It is free, open source and will create games for every platform under the sun and works with Linux as well as Mac and Windows. The platform is Lua based and uses C++ and writes games with clean code and gives the developer a lot of flexibility in how to do things. This can be a curse for a beginner or someone who wants to get on with game design without too much coding. Pros, open source means you can change the engine as you wish. Cons, little documentation, not easy for beginners. Games made, Freedom Falls, Lost in Paradise, Invisible Ink. Now you know which engine is best for you. Thank you for watching. And see you in next video.